hi guys and welcome back to video number two of our series on how to get started with digital planning if you don't know me my name is Isa and in my previous video I show how you can get this planner so you can follow along So today we will learn how to set up our front or cover page in our planner I will give you a link to where you can download free covers to add to this page So you can customize your planner and you can have it the way you want So that when you go to your miniatures view in GoodNotes Where you have all of your documents library Then you can see what you created and you can easily recognize this planner Or simply you can give it your own personal touch So today we will learn how to turn this boring gray page into a nice custom cover page So I'm actually going to go back to the shop printstick.shop and here I will go to where it says covers right here and these covers on the top left the ones that say v1 are free so you can tap there now you have different formats of the same cover so this is all of the colors included and you can see in these preview photos that you have the vertical version the vertical version without a spiral horizontal horizontal without a spiral iphone version and so you choose whichever you want i personally i think i'm gonna use this simple vertical version this is free so feel free to buy all of them if you want if you want to buy more than one style you can first select one style so vertical right here add to cart then click on your back arrow here to go back to the previous page and then select something different for example I'll do the horizontal with no spiral and then add to cart and now I have both formats added to my cart again this doesn't cost anything so you can just go and click on checkout and make sure to enter a correct email address because that's where the files are going to be sent and complete your information when you have entered the rest of your info click on continue to payment but since this is free you don't have to enter any credit card details or anything and then just click on complete order and when it's done you click on download now download and that was for the first file then you have to do the same for the second set of covers download again you can see your files downloaded clicking on this arrow next to your navigation bar and I'm gonna click on the first one and my files app opens and I can see that I have the two uh, zip files that I have just downloaded now I need to decompress and to do that I can just tap on the file the zip files and it'll automatically turn into a regular folder so from here I can just open one click on select here and now you can choose whichever colors and covers you want in my case I'm not gonna use the back covers I'm just going to use the front covers so those are the ones that I'm selecting here by just tapping on them and when I'm done selecting you can click on share and save 14 images if I open my photos app you'll see that I have my covers here and they are with a transparent background now I go back to my planner and here I have my boring gray cover page but now I'm gonna bring my photos app so just make sure that your photos app is either saved on the left space here for your app icons on the ipad or just make sure that it's one of the last apps that you've used and then it'll show on the right side here so once you have it here you just bring this bar up by sliding your finger from the edge of the ipad up a little bit and then tap and drag on the photos icon so that you can bring it to one side and enter split screen view you can adjust how much of each app shows by moving this slider over here now I'm gonna actually go to my miniatures view in the photos because if you have a cover big here you cannot tap and drag it to the screen but if you're in your miniatures view you can drag any cover on your planner page and just add it as an image now a little trick I'm gonna give you so I'm gonna close my photos app for now because I want to show you something here in GoodNotes so if I go to my four squares here you can see that I'm in my cover page but I want to have all of my covers saved within my planner file in GoodNotes because as I start having more photos it's going to be a pain to be able to locate this cover file or I could have a whole section in my photos album a whole album rather and name it covers and then in this way I will be able to locate my covers however trust me when you start getting more and more photos this is gonna get complicated so what I like to do is just keep the covers within my planner file because this is where I'm gonna need the covers anyway so I might as well just keep them here to do that we are going to copy this page where we're at so I'm gonna tap on my four squares on the top left then click on select 
and select this page by just tapping on it and when it's selected you just click on copy then it's copied you click on done scroll down all the way because this is where I like to keep my covers at the end of all of my document where it's out of the way and in this plus sign you tap there and you click on paste page and that's it I have made a copy of the first page of my planner and of course since I had a cover placed on it then the cover was copied as well so what I'm gonna do now is just resize this image so that I can fit all of my covers now this little photo icon on your toolbar here this is the image tool so if I have that selected I can just tap on my cover or image or sticker and resize it and rotate it okay and right now I just want to resize it and with the same same icon selected I can move it to another location so I'm gonna bring back my photos app in split screen mode make it a little smaller zoom out in good notes and then I'm gonna start dragging all of my covers they're too big and they're on top of each other but with this image tool I'm going to be able to resize them really easily so bring the remaining of the colors now I'm gonna close my images so I have a full screen here for good notes and then using this little circle on the bottom right you can resize all the covers so I'm just making them small to get them out of the way they don't have to be the same size at all or anything and just know that when you grow back an image the quality is not lost that is pretty awesome about good notes because you can keep uh, your images, your covers, or your stickers small just so that you have more space but you're not losing any quality. Now another awesome feature of GoodNotes is that it doesn't matter if a cover is on top of the others, you can always tap on it and select it and modify it. Okay. Now this page might not look pretty, but it's going to be very handy when I'm trying to add or change the color of a cover. And to do that, I'm going to show you, for example, let's say that right now I want to use my yellow cover. So I'm going to use my lasso tool, which is this icon right here, to draw a small selection on the cover that I want to use, a small circle. Then tap inside that selection to click on copy. Okay, now I'm going to navigate back to my front cover page. The fastest way to do that is clicking on my four squares at the top left here. Scroll all the way up and then I have my original cover page here. Now I no longer want this one, so I'm gonna tap on it using my image icon. So make sure you have this icon selected, then you tap on the image, then you click on this X, the image is gonna be gone. Then go back to your lasso tool, tap and hold and click on paste. And the image that you have copied from your cover selection has been pasted here. Now you can grow this and place it where you want. I like to rotate it a little bit just to give it a, this fun effect. Great, so now I have my cover placed on my page and I want to add some text to this label space that I have here at the top of my cover. So to do that, I'm gonna go select my text tool in my toolbar. With that icon selected, I'm gonna tap outside of my cover so that it's not stacked on top. And then I'm just gonna write down Agenda de Isa, which means Isa's planner. Okay, then when you're done, you can tap to click on select all. Go to your text menu, which is this icon up here. I'm going to center the text, so this icon in the middle, and I'm going to choose a different font. I'm gonna go choose the Marcadores font, which I'm gonna give you a link to where you can download this. So then let me see how it's looking. It's too small, so I'm just gonna bring it down using my Apple Pencil, it's easier than my finger and so I can see what I'm doing and then I'm just gonna make it a lot bigger maybe there and now of course I have to grow the box so pull these little blue dots to the right something like that okay and now I'm gonna use my lasso tool to select this text tap on my selection resize and just the same way that we can resize an image we can resize and edit a text box so I'm just gonna place it like here and if you tap again on that selection and you click on color, you can change the color of the text. But I think I like white for now. And now I just want to write a little message here on the right. So this is what I'm going to do. Click on your lasso tool and I want to be able to select 
just my text not the cover image here so I'm gonna tap on my lasso tool and here you can select what is being selected with the lasso tool in this case I just want my text box selected so I can turn off my images option and handwriting is for when you use your pen you can also choose not to select that but I don't have any handwritten anything right now, so that doesn't really matter. But just make sure you turn off your images option to make sure you're not selecting the cover. When you make a selection on the text, tap on that selection to copy, paste, and now I have this text box so I don't have to like redo it and change the size and the font and everything in my font menu. And I can write any little message that I want, make sure it all fits in the box and adjust it. Now, you can always select all text, go to your menu here to change the size here, but you can also use the lasso tool to select the text and resize it. And I find this to be quicker sometimes, especially if I don't necessarily need to change the font that I'm using. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is paste a little sticker that I have copied from somewhere else and just to decorate a little bit my page. Now, when you click on this back arrow and you go back to your library in GoodNotes, you will be able to see the cover that you have just created and this will make it a lot cuter. Keep an eye out for my following video. I will, of course, teach you how to create this cute sticker, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so that was the end of this video. I hope that you learned something and that you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to make sure that you're subscribed and you turn on the notifications so that you're notified whenever there's a new video coming. And in our next video, I'm going to teach you how to create this little sticker that I created and I have added to my cover page. We are going to be using the free app Vectornator for this. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.